In today's video, we will be discussing how to navigate through Windows 8.1. When switching from Android and Apple devices or old window versions like XP, Vista, or Windows 7, it can be challenging finding your way through Windows 8.1. This video is not only for Surface tablet PC users, but all Windows 8.1 users. In application mode, aka tablet mode, you'll be able to access window applications, the multi-window feature, access all applications, and it has a tablet-like feel. In application mode, swipe downward to reveal the bottom menu or swipe upward from the edge of the screen to reveal the bottom menu. Swipe upward from the inner screen to reveal the applications menu. Swipe right on the left edge of the screen to switch or close applications. Swipe left from the right edge of the screen to reveal the main menu. In the main app menu, you'll find search, share, start, devices, and settings. In the search menu, you can search for a specific term or phrase on the computer. The share option allows you to share a screenshot to multiple apps. The start button will switch you from application mode to desktop mode. The device option allows you to see what devices you have connected to your computer. The options in the app settings menu is personalized tiles, help, Wi-Fi, volume control, screen, brightness control, notifications, power, and keyboard. In app mode, the bottom screen menu allows you to customize tiles. Press customize, then select an app. You'll be able to unpin it from the start menu, uninstall it, resize it, or turn on and off the live feature. On the inner part of the screen, swipe upward to reveal all of your apps. Every application on your computer can be found in this menu. You can search through these applications by name, date installed, most used, and category. Or you can pinch the screen for more options. Swipe left from the edge of the screen and hold to see all of your open apps. You can also close an app by dragging it down to the bottom of the screen. Here is a closer look of the left menu or taskbar. Swipe from the left edge of the screen towards the right in order to switch in between apps. In order to engage multi-view, you must have one application open, swipe from the left toward the right, and bring one application in as if you were going to close it, and it should split screen. Move the middle bar left or right to adjust the multi-screen size. The desktop mode or computer mode has the same desktop look. It's really easy to use. It runs full software programs and games, and it's compatible with previous Windows software. Select desktop in the app mode, Swipe right from the edge of the screen to switch apps. Swipe right and hold to view open apps. Drag down to close an app. Swipe left from the edge of the screen to reveal the right side menu. There is no bottom menu in the desktop mode, but there is a task bar. The desktop right menu list. Search, share, start, device, and settings. In the search menu, you can search for a specific term or phrase on the computer. The share option allows you to share a screenshot to multiple apps. The start button will switch you from application mode to desktop mode. The device option allows you to see what devices you have connected to your computer. In the desktop settings, you can choose control panel, personalization, PC info, help, Wi-Fi, sound, screen brightness, notifications, power, and keyboard. In PC settings, you have the options to choose from PC and devices, account, SkyDrive, search and apps, privacy, network, time and language, ease of access, and update and recovery. To select change PC settings, go into either your desktop menu settings or your application menu setting. It's located in the bottom right hand corner.
In the settings menu in applications, you'll have options, privacy, about, help, accounts, and permissions. Depending on what application you're using, this could be different. As always, thank you for watching. Next time I will be reviewing all of the accessories that I have with my Surface Pro 2 and I'll be continuing this review into the month of May.